Hi again, Rhian and, and Harry. Um, just as people go back to their parishes, we're all full of ideas and enthusiasm, uh, but often, you know, things die down and we forget to do things. <laughs> What's your advice to parish groups as they go back to their parishes? Um, well, one of the things all the parish groups did at the conference was they wrote down their three priorities, the three things they're first going to do. Yeah. Put it on your fridge, put it on your dashboard when you're cleaning your teeth. Just really focus on those, but also put dates in the diary where you're going to meet other people to actually implement things because okay. the business of life just comes oh, so quickly yeah. and it's so easy to forget things. Yeah. So you have to create mechanisms uh, to keep returning to them. That's good material. Good advice. Get, I, I mean, if, if it was me, I would get a tattoo of those three <laughs> steps. No, no, don't do that. But I think that a really good thing to do that you can do right now, and probably people have already done this, get the date in the diary now for about four weeks' time, and that group that you came with, have a meal together. Just have yeah. dinner together. What a great idea. Get the manual out and just ask one another the question, what do you feel was the key point? What's the one thing that you most want to work on? And then say, uh, remember this. Are we doing it? How how is it going to go? How will mm, it work out? Mm. I think that's that's an easy first step. Mm. With cake. With cake. With cake. Uh -huh. with cake yeah. So final comment. Everyone brought forward their three action points at the communion service you mentioned before. Uh, that was a really special moment. Um, what should they do with those that little sheet of paper? Well, I think that's the thing that they need to be discussing at their first meeting when they get together. Yeah. And in fact, that's an exercise you can do with the whole church as well. You can get the whole church. You could you can do LISIG local, a mini version of the LISIG conference. Yes. And you can you can do this anything to refresh the mind, keep thinking. Mm. You know, this is a this is a long journey we're on. Mm. Uh, and I r really want to echo that. That I think it's vital because sometimes we're a bit ashamed, uh, uh, not ashamed, afraid really of repetition. I've done that. Now move on to the next thing. Mm. You know, it's like. Um, uh, it's like a, a golfer will keep practicing their swing. A musician will keep practicing the chords. You know, we keep uh, someone learning another language will keep repeating mm. verb endings or, or whatever it is. Mm. So repetition is really, really good. You can't mm. go over this material too many times. Mm. Um, that's my experience. Mm. And when I was talking to people who had been to the conference last year and asking them, how's it been second time round? Invariably, they said, it's it's great. Yeah. It's better mm. because some lessons learned have been implemented. But but there's new yeah. stuff that's sort of brought to mind. Yeah, and I've done it thirteen times, and Harry thirty, yeah. and I'm learning something new every time. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Good. Well, look, a final thank you, you guys. You're flying out in just a few hours' time. We are so very grateful for all you've done for us. You've given of yourself, yourselves. You've you sh shared your experiences. It's absolutely been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.